The squawk, Lacrimocorpus dissolvens. The range of the squawk is very limited. Few people outside of Pennsylvania have ever heard of the quaint beast, which is said to be fairly common in the hemlock forests of that state. The squawk is of a very retiring disposition, generally traveling about at twilight and dusk. Because of its mesfitting skin, which is covered with warts and moles, it is always unhappy. In fact, it is said by people who are best able to judge to be the most morbid of beasts. Hunters who are good at tracking are able to follow a squawk by its tear-stained trowel, for the animal weeps constantly. When cornered and escape seems impossible, or when surprised and frightened, it may even dissolve itself in tears. Squawk hunters are most successful on frosty moonlit nights, when tears are shed slowly and the animal dislikes moving about. It may then be heard weeping under the boughs of dark hemlock trees. Mr. J. P. Wentling, formerly of Pennsylvania, but now at St. Anthony Park, Minnesota, had a disappointing experience with a squawk near Mount Alto. He made a clever capture by mimicking the squawk and inducing it to hop into a sack in which he was carrying it home. When suddenly the burden lightened and the weeping ceased, Wentley unslung the sack and looked in. There was nothing but tears and bubbles. Page 31, Fearsome Creatures of the Lumberwoods, by William T. Cox, 1910.